Good afternoon, everybody. It is me, Drawch Age Boy Forecast, guys, and welcome back to the video. As you guys, if you guys checked out my um, community post tab, you guys do know that I'm now posting on the southeast today. I will be posting on the northeast tomorrow. There is reasonings because there's a new GFS and European malls that are for uh, forecasting bigger chances for snow in the east or the southeast. The GFS is actually showing um possibly a bit more for georgia south for the in the carolinas but the europeans showing a bit more for tennessee alabama mississippi so it's huge updates and either way we could have historically early snowstorm and ice storms so i'm covering this because this is actually a very exciting video for the southerners i don't know if people in the north really care about this but i'm very excited but i don't do not want to jinx this because this will be historically early and we can see possibly one snowstorm and an ice storm in the same week and that's somewhat historic either way it depends where what south state you live in but we could have huge widespread power outages just from ice um just from black ice areas that will be seeing that won't be seeing snow including central georgia central alabama areas and the coastal carolinas we can be seeing well below freezing temperatures there and we can have black ice the net the following morning and it could be black ice for maybe two mornings in a row. So we can have possibly can a lot of cancellations for school. This will be possibly a very historic week that we can see. So I'm very excited and have a lot of southern uh, people that um, are in Virginia, have people in the Carolinas. I have people in Tennessee, have a lot of people in Tennessee. And I have almost 40% of my viewers actually in Georgia. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get in this video. So again, I forgot to say, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, guys. As many of you guys know, my um, my one-year anniversary from YouTube is in 11 days. I'll be making a video on that later, but uh, be sure to subscribe. I want to try to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of November, so if you guys can help me out, it's almost my one-year anniversary, so that would mean a lot to me. Also, if you really enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. But again, guys, the, the European and GFS are still showing completely different results, so... And let's say you live in uh, Atlanta, for example. The GFS is showing snow for Atlanta up to one to two inches, and then north of Atlanta, we could have up to half a foot. So you could you shouldn't get super duper excited because the Europeans not showing snow at all in those areas near Atlanta and north or that areas where it says up to foot. For example, if you live in let's say Tennessee near Nashville, and Europeans favoring up to a good three inches. But the GFS is not showing really nothing at all, so you can't get excited. You can, you have the right to get excited. I just don't, I just don't want you guys to get your hopes up. But if two, if the both models show you getting the snow in the same amount, then that's where you probably could get excited. But without a result, that isn't too exciting. But again, as we go into, uh, this is Tuesday. This is next Tuesday again. This is next week. But again. Many of these areas in the south, right, or many of these areas, the European does not show snow here at all. But again, we could have huge widespread spread, uh, power outages with this huge black ice problem, as we will see well below freezing temperatures. We could have snow, very, very light snow for Nashville, but we'll have a second wave come in. This is the first part of the same storm. We're not going to have two snowstorms. We're going to have one but it's going to be coming into little waves. Again, we'll have snow all the way from areas in Tennessee to areas near Tupelo. Again, areas near uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and uh, areas near Knoxville. We'll be seeing possibly the heaviest snow that any other city uh, in Tennessee will be seeing. We'll have a bit of a mix near Johnson City. Nashville will see very light snow, maybe some flurries. This light blue isn't generally um, that much snow coming down. We'll have areas near Huntsville starting to see a mix. But as we go into the overnight hours of Tuesday, we'll see that snow getting to North Georgia. Again, I live right, uh, I live like right here, um, just a couple miles away from Lake Lanier. I'm like 10 miles to 15 miles away from uh, Lake Lanier. Again, we're going to have a good amount of snow coming into Asheville now, into, uh, into Franklin, into the near areas in Blue Ridge and Helen. And that'll go away. But again, this is Tuesday night. Look at all these areas. That will be seeing rain. This is the potential of all, not all these areas. Maybe if you're south of this line, maybe if you're south of this line, you'll be possibly above or slightly just in below for like a couple minutes or a couple hours, and then it goes up and unfreezes. But again, these areas, if you're north of this line, you'll definitely be seeing possibly some ice threats. Even if you don't, even if this isn't 
this snowstorm doesn't play out as bad or as much. You still see plenty of snow to come, or sorry, plenty of rain to come. And now when we look at the GFS radar, this J, the GFS radar actually favors me a lot more than the European. But I'm not. I, I just saying. I'm saying. I'm, I think the GFS is a bit. Is I'm gonna go with the GFS not because it's forecasting me getting more snow. It's because the GFS is usually correct with these systems. It's been on. To, it's been on the dot for Aubrey and it was on the dot for Bessie but it wasn't on the dot with the other western storm but Europeans more of a tropical system but again it's that doesn't mean the GF is always right I'm just gonna go the GFS I think the Europeans showing it going a little bit too south in my opinion but again as we go into Saturday we have nothing the weekend nothing nothing but by Monday when we started to have these issues again here we had that snow into areas near Illinois, Indiana, areas into St. Louis, into uh, areas uh, near Joplin. We'll start to see that snow. Again, the uh, the GFS has now, uh, yesterday, it's now showing a lot more snow for Tennessee now. So, as you can tell, uh, yesterday morning, it did not show that much for Nashville or areas near Little Rock, but now, or in Kentucky, but now actually kind of does show a bit more snow now. But it will getting out very fast. So, you can have snow. Uh, all the way into areas near Memphis, and then by the next six hours, it's completely gone. So this won't be super um, long-lasting like the European model is showing it. So that's why that's a huge issue. And again, as you can tell, my title has also ice. And you guys are wondering, this is the snowstorm, right? But this is not an ice storm. Well, there is an ice storm that could possibly hit areas in Georgia. It can actually affect me and bring a couple of inches of snow. I can possibly get a couple of inches of snow. I'm just not going to go say I am. I'm just going to say there's possibly because it could definitely change. I've learned in the past as a southerner. Uh, but as we leave by Wednesday, it is clear. But then usually what we saw at Benji, we have that moisture in the south. Usually the general famous storms that come to the south are from the cold airs that come from the north. But this one's the moisture from the south. And this is actually what happened with Benji. And that's one of the most historic and early snowfalls that have happened in southeast history. And now again, we're going to be seeing a very heavy, heavy ice mix slash sleet and snow. This is a, not only a sleet and freezing rain and snow. It's very, very heavy. It's like this very dark pink. So that's very heavy. Uh, it's the opposite of what we're seeing in Tennessee and uh, Alabama. Where we're seeing very light blue. This is dark, dark, dark pink. So we're going to be seeing areas, um, some sleet coming in from my area. Again, guys, I live right here. Uh, it's, I don't, it's like, I live right here, actually, no, I live right here, so again, I'm going to be getting into that pink color again, it won't be super long lasting either, but this will be at this second system, there'll be two days apart, again, this nest from ends by Tuesday, and then the next day, we could still have threat, but it's still a huge threat, we could have another threat with ice, because this will be, uh, this will be Thursday night and Friday morning, so we'll still have well below for a freezing temperatures, so we can possibly have multiple delays of school for Tennessee, for the Carolinas, for Virginia, for Georgia. Mississippi might have one, because Mississippi won't be involved in that second one, but now we're going to be looking at the snowfall, if we can get into it. But yeah, let's get into the snowfall, uh, what we're going to be seeing here. All right, so this is, like, this is what we're going to be seeing right here. Uh, so, again, we are going to be seeing a couple inches in Tennessee, like I said. Uh, I believe area, I have a viewer uh, in Springfield, which is, like, right here. That's a good, uh, since you don't, since you get the, right off the bat, you get a good one to two inches. Like I said, the snowfall totals have increased. Areas in Nashville will getting up to two and a half inches, so maybe at most three inches. We'll have a lot of snow in for areas for uh, areas and actually um, Mississippi can be getting a good four inches near the uh, Mississippi River. Little Rock can be getting a good amount of snow, but again, we won't have that much snow coming in the North Georgia at all. It's the complete opposite with the models, and then it's not that much for Asheville and all. But honestly, the uh, in my opinion, the GFS is very exciting, and it, it, um. And yeah, we're having this. You're probably wondering how are we getting uh, how are we getting snow from this second system in the Gulf. Uh, well, it's because again that cold front's already there. So we're gonna be starting by Tuesday again. By Tuesday we have a good an inch or two for St. Louis. So we have a good area, a good um three four inches for here's central Missouri. Not that much snow again. Complete opposite 
result. As you can tell, we have nothing for Little Rock other than, and then the European shows four inches. And then again, areas right here near Springfield at most one inch, and then Nashville at most one and one and a half inch inches of snow. As again, this is by Wednesday. You're probably thinking, oh, it's over. Like this is this is over. Like what do you mean historic week to come? This is only like half an inch. Well, it's more historic for a specific region in the southeast. Or, again, uh, it's going to be historic either way. Because we could have possibly two ice delays in early November, which is not usually what we see in this time of the year. So, here we go. By Thursday night, this is Thursday. Oops, I did not mean to press that. By Thursday night, we'll have some accumulation snow for areas in Alabama, South Carolina, and Georgia. This will also include Atlanta. So we can possibly have a snow in the big areas near, maybe even near the areas in the fall line, which I learned in Georgia Studies this year. We have the fall line, including Augusta and Columbus. So we can have a good amount of snow. We can actually, let me get these snowfall total, the thing right here. So we can actually have up to three inches. We'll have two inches near, Ma or north, a couple miles north of Macon. Atlanta will have a bit less than, or a bit about maybe three fourths of an inch as we go in the next six hours we have an incredibly huge change in snowfall wise we can have an inch per hour so maybe even half an inch per hour for some areas and as you can tell guys this is going to be historic you know why it just happens we can actually have up to six inches for my for the county right next to me which is jackson county we can have up to six inches of snow in those areas and that is um, that's three years worth of winter snowfall because our their average there's two inches. So it is historic to see your whole snowfall in one snowstorm in November 14th. Like it, it's historic. It may not be historic to people in the north. People in the north just don't get it. If you're south of Kentucky, you will most likely get it unless you're in the Appalachians. You get snow almost every week. Uh, once it's past December, but we can, I can actually see, again, like I said, I live right here, I can see, there's actually, let me look, I live right here, so I'm gonna be getting a good, uh, one to, uh, four inches of snow, as you can tell, I am gonna be in the border, I'm actually looking like I'm in this color, at most, I'm in this color right here, so that's in between three to four inches, but I want to be realistic on this. I think I'll be ranging from one to four in, or maybe one to three and a half inches, but I'm going to be honestly, I'm going to be honest, I think I'll be on the lower side if I get snow at all. Atlanta could be getting a good maybe two to three inches. Maybe they'll be on the lower side too, but again, we can have a good amount of snow for Tacoa, uh, Georgia. We can have a good amount of snow near uh, areas near Brazelton. We can have a good amount of snow there. We can also have a good amount of snow for uh, near Clemson. Clemson and South Carolina will be involved in this. And in areas into the areas in northern South Carolina, we can have some more snow there. Like uh, near Easley, we will have some more snow there. Uh, we can have a couple inches that here. But again, I'm not just making this video because of me. If you guys are wondering, you got, I bet you some of you guys are wondering, oh, I just made this video because I'm involved in it. No, because... You probably think, oh, wait, that's at most five inches. What do you mean historic? Guys, we can, you don't understand. We can have widespread ice issues here, too. Once we get closer, I can actually show you guys how much ice we can see. We can probably see a good up to a point twenty five inches, which is around what we saw on snow again in 2014, which completely wiped out the south. Again, guys, the southeast has plenty of hill. It's not like the Midwest where we have straight up no hills at all this is plenty of atlanta if you guys go to atlanta there's plenty of hills and this is a huge highway this is where uh, the big one of the major most major cities in the southeast is atlanta we have plenty of people there that, that roads take you anywhere in the united states so that's a huge deal we have montgomery we have nashville we have tupelo we have areas near charleston we have knoxville again all those areas that can be completely wiped out and many people are in the news are not talking about this they're talking about that northeast part i totally get it but you need to also focus on the south where people do not usually see snow until december january and may all the way to march early early march they can actually get to their first snowfall and that's it some of these people don't even get more than one snowstorm a year so they're definitely need to prepare for this if it was like january i guess it's not that bad but this is november guys i think this can be historically early and historically important and historically dangerous so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah i kind of have a bit more intensity in this video because again 
I'm actually getting kind of excited, but I have not mentioned it to my friends yet, because every time I mention a snowstorm a week uh, before, I jinx it, and I'm not jinxing it, I'm staying strong, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and again, uh, in two days, my winter forecast comes out, bye guys.